Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And this is Foxy, and that's Bucky. Yep. And this is Ruby, Volume 6, Episode 4. Um, if you want all of our reactions to this series, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there, as well as a link to Patreon. You can get a month ahead on our reactions over there, and you can get ad-free access as well. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we got a big lore bomb and big story about uh, Oz. Uh, so, we'll see how uh, that affects the group and what they think about it. We, yeah. have, we have our thoughts on it. Let's see what they think. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Ready. I know we said it last time, but still, I'm just really worried about Crow. Yeah. He's in trouble. be killed. You all heard her too, right? I... There was so much you hadn't told us. How could you think that was okay? He's up, Yang. Professor? What is your plan to defeat Salem? That's fair. I don't have one. Ooh. Oh, shit! No one wanted me. I was cursed. I gave my life to you because you gave me a place in this world. Mm. I thought I was finally doing some good. But you are. Meeting you was the worst luck of my life. Oh. Oh, Crow. Maybe you're right. What happened? He's gone. That bastard! Tell him we're not done yet! No, this is different. He's gone. It, it's like he's locked himself deep inside my head. Our head? Oh, this poor kid. I hate this. I want it to stop. He just left us? What are we going to do now? Enough! We need to get a move on. It'll be dark before we know it, and every one of you is spewing negativity. Mm -hmm. There's a trail over there. Trails usually lead somewhere. Lady, I don't know who you think you are, but no buts. <laughs> I understand that you're upset. Honestly, I'm still coming to terms with the fact that this is humanity's second time around. But if we don't move, we die. And I'll be damned if I've lived this long just to die out here in the cold. She's awesome. Mm-hmm. And she's right. Come on. <clears throat> it looked like Weiss picked up a kid's suitcase that was surrounded by crayons. <laughs> Just going to be another one of his lives, aren't I? Of course not. You're your own person. Don't lie to him, Ruby. No oh, crow. No better than that. Oh jeez. Okay, now I can see why he's gotten totally hopeless. I 
I thought he knew the story. I thought he already knew it. Or most of it. And that was why Raven left, because like she heard that like uh, Salem camp couldn't be killed, and so she's like, oh, why'd you send us on this impossible mission? Yeah, it seemed like Carl at least knew something. But I guess not. as much as we missed you. Let's go. Mm, speaking of which, where is our fall maiden? <gasps> I hate that guy. Yeah, I know. Come on. Don't tell me something happened to her. <laughs> I will cut off more than just your tail. Nice. <laughs> Careful, little girl. <laughs> Cinder isn't here to protect you anymore. She doesn't need your help. Come on, don't back down. Freak. Oh, don't misunderstand. I am in mourning just as you. Because it appears you failed our queen. And that is a tragedy. <laughs> she looks legitimately terrified walking up those stairs. Yeah. I would like you to explain to me how it is you failed so spectacularly. Hmm. The Fauna's militia split our forces. Stop. Let me rephrase the question. Who is responsible for your defeat? The silver eyed girl. And Oz. I take full responsibility. Mm. Oh! That wouldn't be fair now, would it? We all know who's truly to blame. I don't. Whoa. to tell me whose fault this was. Oh, shit. Now. C Cinder! We failed because of Cinder. That's right. I want you to understand that failure. I want you to understand why Cinder must be left to toil in her isolation until she redeems herself. You mean... She's alive. You're joking. How could you know that? Are you questioning our divine savior? I... <laughs> Probably not a smart thing to do. <laughs> of course not. Uh, forgive me. There you go. It's important not to lose sight of what drives us. Love. Justice. Reverence. But the moment you put your desires before my own, they will be lost to you. This isn't a threat. This is simply the truth. The path to your desires is only found through me. 
And so we must press on. The sword under Vacuo's academy, Shade. Ma'am. I have more to report. <laughs> you want to go back to underground? Crow and the children are taking the lamp to Atlas. <laughs> Not if I can help it. And they're being led by Ozpin. Well, I mean, this guy so soon. He's the only man with a chance of getting through to Ironwood. If that happens, it... Leave. Your grace, I... Come on. Shatter. No, oh, that was gonna happen right away. She tried to get herself together. It did not work. No. It doesn't look like this is gonna let up. I just want to get this stupid relic to Atlas. Let's hope we don't have to walk all the way there. I thought trails led somewhere. Do you have nothing better to do than to harass a defenseless old lady? <laughs> Quiet! Do you hear that? Well, at least one good thing happened today. It looks abandoned. It's still better than this. Come on, I think we could all use some rest. What'd you think? So shorter episode than yeah. most of them. Um, I'm like both disappointed and also very pleased with the unveiling of this because I think the next chapter is going to be pretty big. I was surprised by Crow's reaction. Yeah, we said that during sure. it. Um, I'm not saying I thought he knew everything, but I definitely thought he knew more mm -hmm. than the rest. And so I didn't expect that angry of a response. As far as Yang's go, Yang's was pretty much what I expected. Yeah. Um, and while she was angry at Ozpin, that's also a lot to do with her mom. Mm. The whole, like, you withheld stuff from me, you didn't tell me the full story. Like, you just know that there is more bleeding into her anger at Oz right now than what Oz deserves. Again, leave it to Ruby to ask the relevant question. What was your plan? But what a gut punch to find out that he didn't have one. And so he's been their leader this whole time, but, you know, like... yeah. He's he's winging it. He's got no brilliant insight or plan or idea that's going to help. He's just kind of inching them along one step at a time, hoping that in doing so, something comes up that can save the day. Uh, so that's a pretty terrifying revelation. What's tough to understand is like not having a plan this entire time. Like what kept Oz going? Like just the fight itself? Like like always preparing for the next fight and the next battle against Salem and training people up. Um, without ever thinking that you're gonna win? He doesn't have an answer for something this big. And he's lived a lot of lifetimes and still hasn't come up with an answer, mm -hmm. which is why it's so terrifying. Yeah. Um, you know, and I, I think I'm always so impressed by Ruby because she is so smart and empathetic 
um, you know, you said something which I think is is very relatable, which is, you know, a leader that that changes, like somebody suddenly changes on you. They mm-hmm. aren't who you thought they were. And how many times have we heard a friend say or said it ourselves, like, oh yeah, we broke up. Like he wasn't who I thought I, I he wasn't who I thought he was, or you know, he changed or what. People are capable of change, yes. But in terms of some sort of drastic shift like that, more often than not, it's we acquired more information that altered our perspective. Mm-hmm. That can be for the better or for the worse. Ruby always seems so impressive to me because she is always so even killed, keeled and she takes in the new information. She allows herself time to process it and then she responds to it versus someone like Yang who gets the new information and reacts. Yeah. Which is human. That's what we do. Like we're emotional creatures, but that often is what also gets us into trouble and also is what doesn't really help us when we need the most help. Ruby's taking her time and processing it and then responding accordingly moves the dial forward for the team. And that's why she's such a great leader. Yeah. You talked about like, you know, how people don't really change. I mean, you just like, I think the way people change is um, we talked about before you talked about like feeding uh, your wolf, like whether you feed yeah. the good wolf or the bad wolf. Um, and like you take a, like Adam, for example, uh, he kept feeding like his bad wolf. So like that, that part was always in there with him. Yep. Um, and like, he just kept feeding that more and more and more and then started to become more and more like, you know, sadistic and uh, vengeful and um, hateful and uh, yeah. And so, and villainous um, and, Little wiener. Uh, <laughs> I love that you had to just slip that one in at the end there. Yeah. Um, I liked the Salem scene, um, just seeing the fear that they all had in in, in her. Um, uh, and, you know, she talks about how, again, you know, you're the hero in your own story. She's talking about, like, you know, we're, this is, remember, we're, this is for love, this is for truth, this is for justice. And I mean, like, you got her story. Yeah, it was for love. It was all for, like, this is the whole thing was yep. because she loved Oz. That's how this whole thing came because you didn't. She didn't want to lose the person that she loved, and the other, the, you know, the two guys were dicks, um, and punishing her, which is like, <clears> yeah. <throat> so, in order to teach you a lesson, I'm going to wipe out all of humanity. So I'm going to suffer everybody else. You know, like everyone else is going to be uh, killed. Uh, just teach one person a lesson. Like that's so dumb. Um, but at the same time, she's not like this is. She doesn't run it like Oz. This is not a, a, a democracy. This is not like, you know. You are following me. This is it's my way or down to hell with the grim. <laughs> like that is that th- those are your options. I know I know best. So that's how you know. And that's like a little bit of difference between uh, a villain and a and a hero. But I don't know. I mean, Salem is the the villain in this, but she's also very relatable. Salem and Ozpin are two great examples of feeding your wolf. Yep. Salem has fed her wolf on pain and anger Mm -hmm. and a sense and that's given her a sense of entitlement like because she was Mm -hmm. hurt she is owed Mm -hmm. um and so the people around her have to revere her they have to call her their divine savior Mm -hmm. they have to put her on a pedestal because her sense of the world and her sense of herself is so fragile her ego her her self-esteem her her self-confidence is all so fragile that if she doesn't get that She's got no sense of self-worth just as she is and who she is. And yeah, you can be valuable and life can still deal you a raw hand. Doesn't Mm -hmm. mean you're less valuable. It means life sucks and that happens. Um, Ozpin, on the other hand, has fed his wolf of love and caring for others and optimism and and a, a hope for the future. And that's why he's surrounded by people who it, it's, it's, this is going to sound like a terrible lesson because in this moment, Salem is being treated so well by her team and mm-hmm. Ozpin is being dumped on. That's not the moral of the story, but the point is Ozpin is surrounded by people who feel that they can talk to him. Mm-hmm. They don't have to revere him as some sort of divine entity because, I'm sorry, who's going to live up to that? Nobody's going to live up to that. Salem's yeah. setting herself up for long-term defeat and more pain. Oz is a member of the team and he is treated as a member of the team. Mm-hmm. And when a member of the team lies, they're going to get dumped on a bit. But the point is, he's got more respect from his team and they are more caring about him than Salem will ever have out of the people who are surrounding her. Um, so like long term consequences of how how you which wolf you feed and how you take care of yourself, because 
Ozpin is in control of his mind. Salem's mind is in control of her. And it's speaking from nothing but pain and anger. And that's not going to really set you up for success. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want early ad free access to our Ruby reactions, check out the description of this video for a link to Patreon. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Ruby Volume 6, Episode 4, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.